Hey YouTubers and gamers and I'm back with another pickup for you and as always it's a bit of a mix of games and, and accessories but mostly games of course um, I have with me a unusual um, uh, accessory it is um, it is the PlayStation Move rifle accessory it's the EK86 assault rifle now this came with heavy fire Afghanistan um, it's all new and sealed the whole thing is unused and sealed and everything it has a little vibration bit in the magazine so it vibrates and and it's got a, you know a, a, a telescopic sight and all sorts of things so uh, when I saw this one uh, that this was available on eBay there's a sale in France because I had a lot of new ones of these because they're saying they're quite cheap and then shipping it's £40 which I thought was a bloody good price for this because it's not, it's not something I've seen before on a PS3 and it is such a cool um, uh, light, uh, light gun of sort isn't it I mean look at that bloody hell I mean if I go out and about in pub I'll, I'll probably get shot by a police because I think I've got a real rifle uh, unless, I, unless it's got a move plugged in of course uh, but um, no, it's pretty monty that, so for £40, I'm quite pleased to have that on the, for my PS3 collection. Talking of um, other accessories, I also have a fight stick. Uh, for £90 from a seller in the UK. Um, this set normally goes for about £120, between that and £150 they go for, tend to go for on eBay, but I managed to get a a seller who, and I knocked them down to £90 and clean dealer free, it's like brand new condition it is the Neo Geo fight stick, a sort of burgundy maroon colour but it's a special one that uh, comes out for the Fatal Fury Mark of the Wolves which is like Fatal Fury 4, now this is a, a really a superb fighting game so to get this as part of a package of the arcade set for 90 quid. That's, not, that's, that's quite a good deal really and it is such a nice um, fight stick as well and usual colour to have a Neo Geo uh, it's the same as a Neo Geo AES fight stick but obviously a different colour, so a burgundy colour with a little mark on the wolves on the on the base so let's see it there you can so yeah, uh, so I've got a Neo Geo fight stick for that and uh, uh, I've also got, I showed you in the previous video one which I got for PS3 as well um, okay, let's turn to a game. Let's start off with, uh, let's start off with a miscellaneous one, so I've only got one off. Okay, got this for £10. Um, it's, it's quite an uncommon game, I don't see it too often. It is Dragon Ball Evolution, based on the sort of a uh, movie which. It's a bit like a movie version of a cartoon where it's, it's very far fetched and sleep, but then the cartoons are as well. Uh, but it's, it's actually a physical game based on the movie on a PSP. It's just £10 clean shipping from a seller in the UK. And it's not a game which I see that often, so quite happy to have that. Right, this game is, is a Power English UK copy. But it's not, again, it's a very uncommon game which I don't see it often. It's Xbox 360's War Tech. Uh, Senko Ronde, so I think it's a, it's a Spanish game, even though it's published by Ubisoft but it's actually all English anyway, on the back and everything, so it's like a UK copy but it's a very uncommon free, uh, 360 game that uh, that wasn't a lot of money, I think it was about £7 or something uh, this game was about £6 off eBay again um, the Parlours Tournament Fishing for the Wii And this is a real good steal. Um, this game has actually has gone down in, in, in cost. About a couple of years back, you would be looking at probably about paying about £50 for this. But it's actually gone down in the UK. You can pay about between 30 and 35 and I managed to get this for 30 And it's a GameCube's Disney Sports Basketball. It's a Power English UK copy. Um, I know Dan, Rebel Gamer, uh, is after the USA copy of this. And uh, they go for lots of money. I think they can go up to about three hundred dollars or something daft like that, which is a lot of money for a Disney game. Okay, uh, let's turn to 
which I have now. Let's turn to a Genesis while we're here. Okay, as a, another reproduction I got as in that game uh, developed by Renovation, and that is Vapor Trail, which is a real good top down shooter. Looks a bit like riding, but um, it is quite tough because unfortunately, when you die, you have to restart at the beginning of a level. So, with the cheats, unless you have that inv invincibility, uh, having infinite lives doesn't really help you much because uh, <laughs> it just takes you back to the beginning of the level if you die of course so really you need invincibility to get part for that far in this game unless you're really good at shooters and I'm not so that's the toughest balls game but it's, it's quite a good looking game and I've got this, this is a reproduction that includes the manual and everything this is about £11 of AliExpress so with those sort of prices you can't really argue really uh, these other two games I got from CX and they're not reproductions the actual real thing the real deal and it's Tasmania that was about, um, this is £12 from CEX and also for £12 was uh, the first Micro Machines game from CEX so for those prices I think that's, you know, that's, I think that's about the average price for Mega Drive games or Genesis games in CEX so days are picking them up for five or longer I reckon okay uh, so so fortunately I think there's only about 8 Mega Drive games I need to get now which to complete my want list, so that's good. Let's turn to the PS3, shall we? Okay. Uh, this was only a pound from the Poundland. Truth or lie, someone will get caught. It's, it's like a lie detection type game. Again, it's just for PS3 collection, nothing special. Uh, these next little games I got because they're also available on the Wii U and given a choice I'll have them on the PS3 and Wii U because it's my PS3 is my console choice so I've got DreamWorks Rise of the Guardians that's about a 10 off eBay all complete this game was about £12 off Amazon all new and sealed um, it's going to be a, probably a trashy game. It's Barbie and her sister's Puppy Rescue, but again, this is once on the Wii U too. So, again, out of the two, I chose for a PS copy. It's just pure for a collection, I'm never going to play that. Surprisingly. Unless I'm drunk one day. Uh, okay, um, this one's also on the Wii U, but I'll probably get the other um, One Piece games, and it's One Piece Unlimited World Red. So, um, yeah, this was the, wasn't too much. I think it's about nine pound off eBay. That this game was about four pounds off eBay delivered. It's like an online only game, and it's based on a I think it's a sci-fi series. I've not not watched it. It's Falling Skies for game, but again, this is one that's also on the Wii U. But I'm gonna try to get get on PS3. Okay, these next three games are Japanese exclusives. Uh, so, yeah, we haven't got these in the West. So we have, first of all, Dark Stalkers or Vampire Resurrection. Um, this was, I think it was £18 of eBay delivered. Um, all complete. Again, it's a fighting game, so it doesn't matter if it being Japanese. This game, I'm not putting in the system yet, so I'm not sure if I can play it without knowing the Japanese language too much uh, but it's an unusual game, it's Tokyo Jungle and uh, you, you, you basically you can, can, it's like a post-apocalyptic world and you control animals and um, I think you just try to survive depending on what animal you are and stuff so it's a very interesting concept game and it's one that's becoming that will be collectible at some point in the future really so this was um, off a, um, PlayAsia.com and um, I think it was about £14 or something. Wasn't too much. This game was about £22 off PlayAsia.com. Um, it's, it's already going up a lot in price. The copy to get is for Chinese edition that has also has English subs as well as Chinese subs. Um, there's not that many subs anyway in the first place. So you can pretty much play the game without knowing the language because the subs just give you like clues and stuff, so it's doable without, but 
um, it is a it's a Japanese copy of Rain, so I wasn't able to get the Chinese copy. Unfortunately, they're sold out everywhere, and they go for about fifty quid plus on eBay. But um, but I was happy to get this off uh, PayAsia.com for twenty two pounds, and I still got a few Japanese of these copies left. So if this is one that you want to pick up for your PS3 collection, and you're quite happy to have a Japanese copy, which I was, uh, then by all means. Uh, PlayAsia.com has still got these if you're looking for this. Um, elsewhere, even the Japanese copy, it's, it's getting harder to get. So That's another one for a PS3 collection. Alright, let's turn to the PS4. Okay, I've got a few, um, quite a few exclusive goodies. First of all, reduced to £15 in Argos was for Troll and I, a nice little indie type game. Basically, it's like a one. It's like a co-op game, well, in the sense that you control two characters. Um, I'm not sure it's even it, if it lets you play two people or not. But where it says so, it's covered by a sticker, but it might do. But anyway, it's a uh, one of those um, ones which you switch from character to character to do different moves and stuff. But it looks quite good. I'm quite pleased to get out for 15 quid reduced. This game was 20 pounds from Argos. Dream 4 chapters, another sort of sci fi, I think it's like an RPG. Modern 3D adventure. Um, yeah, it looks good though. Alright, these next three games are exclusive. So, first of all, um, available only from I Am 8 Bit Games, who've also bought us um, Res Infinite. You know, this, we have the uh, RPG Hyperlight. Drifter, and this comes with a large manual and quite a monty uh, map as well, so it's quite heavy. This packaging, this game is, but it's another RPG. Quite pleased to have that, and it's got you know, like I said, it's the I'm a bit exclusive, and that looks really nice. It's like a, uh, I don't know, it's um, it's like if Shin Megami Tensei did Legend of Zelda, I suppose. But it's, um, it's written by a developer, a guy who actually has real experience of depression and anxiety and he, and he included some twisted elements from that within the game, so... Yep, different. Right, this game, you can probably get, get it everywhere in the States, maybe not, I don't know. But I know, certainly in the, in Europe, this is hard to get. You can only get it from GameStop. Um, and the nearest place to game stop, well, nearest GameStop we've got is the website on, in Ireland, so I had to get this imported from Ireland. Uh, but it's all English, of course, and it's about, it worked out about £32, including shipping. And it has been Heroes on the PS4. Um, I know in the States you can get this on the Switch as well, but, well, I've got it on the PS4. Uh, but this game is, um, um, I'm not sure how you would describe it, if it's like a, roguelite action strategy type fantasy game with sort of it's the controls are, it takes some getting used to they're a bit tricky actually and I think they probably deserve a lot of patience which I don't really have really so um, I would only recommend this game really if you you know you want to you know collect all the exclusives for PS4s okay this game is uh, an exclusive game um, available from playasia.com it's in the, in the nice limited edition packaging it includes um, an art book I think and I can't remember if it's a CD soundtrack or not in here but it's Blue Rider uh, it's um, it's a bit of a, a top down shooter but instead of being like a bullet hell shooter it's more of a tactical one whereby your bullets well, the bullets from the enemies are quite relatively slow, so you do have time to actually dodge them. And you will need to dodge them to get through the level, because there's, there's very few health pickups and stuff. And if you die, you have to start from the very beginning again of, of the level. So it's a, it's quite a tactical game, this. And it's quite a simple game. It comes across like a, a bit like an, uh, an iOS game, really, in, in terms of it's not a lot to it. It's quite a simple game. But... They are they were only asking twenty three pounds for this from playage.com I think it was. So it wasn't, you know, an expensive game, especially to get in a collector's box set, so and that so again it's a good game for the system and it's it's actually quite enjoyable. I prefer this to has been heroes anyway. Okay, turning to the Wii U. Oh. 
Okay, it's about, um, I think it's probably another four Wii U games that I need to get, but I also picked up some of the exclusives that are only available on the system. So we have, um, a lot of these games were on average between £8 and £12, depending on what it was. So we have Art Academy Atelier, um, I think that was on eBay. Um, this is all new and still from Amazon, I think it's about 8 or £9. Your Shape Fitness Evolved 2013. Um, this is about eight pound from eBay. Family Party 30 Great Games, um, published by D3 Publisher. Again, it doesn't look like much, but it's exclusive to a Wii U. Um, Ubisoft Sports Connection. I think this is about again about eight or ten pounds from eBay. That one. No, actually, I think that was from Amazon. Uh, this one was a bit more expensive actually, these last two. This was for about £24 of eBay. And, I, and I, believe it or not, that's quite a good price for this game because it's, it's shooting up in cost. Um, there's two Monster High games, I think, on the Wii U, I think. The other ones are available also on other systems. But this is the only one that's available exclusive to the Wii U, which is Monster High 13 Wishes. Uh, it might be on the Wii as well, but I think definitely a bit of a Wii U exclusive so I can't get this one on the PS3 so um, yeah it's going up with a lot of money this one so I'll never play it but my daughter might anyway okay this other game I got for £14 of eBay it's sealed it's Australian stock but it still plays on your you know the UK Power Wii U box Wii U machines and it's all in English anyway and it's Fast Racing Neo uh, Elsewhere, this game is really hard to get a hold of, and you pay at least 24 quid. But I got this for 14 pounds new and sealed from a particular sale on eBay, so I was quite happy to get still get this for this price because this game um, is getting harder to get. Okay, turn to a PS1. I've got a few Japanese goodies. Okay, uh, I've got the fantasy fighting game. Um, Brave Fencer Mush 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 Den or Mush Mus Ashinden Mus Ashinden Brave Fencer Mush Ashinden I think that's pronounced. Quite impressed with myself with pronouncing that. Uh, this was nine pounds from a Japanese seller based in the UK, so quite happy to have that. Again, it didn't come out to UK that game. Uh, these next three games are Mobile Suit Gundam games, so we have the first one. This was only £6 from the, the Japanese seller on eBay. And Mobile Suit Gundam version 2, so it's the first game and, and the second game. This is like the limited edition. Again, it was only about £6, so quite cheap. And this one is Mobile Suit... no, no, SD Gundam over Galaxian. So it's got elements of Galaxian... Um, arcade game in it as well. It's crossed with obviously um, SD Gundam or well, Mobile Gundam whatever differences. Uh, so yeah again this was only about six or seven pounds off eBay so I'm not getting every uh, mobile suit Gundam on PS1 because there's simply too many and a lot of them are a bit too too much RPG based and you really need to know your Japanese for that. But these one were a bit they're more action based so I can get away with so I'm happy to have those. Okay last but not least Turning to PS4, and um, all these games are, well, apart from one, are Japanese exclusive. So starting off one with it isn't Japanese exclusive, which I'm really pleased to have. This game has got re-released in the States, but it didn't get re-released -re -re in the UK. So it's still more pricey in the UK. Um, Same, I think it's still quite expensive in, in the States, but but uh, I managed to get this game. For, um, on eBay auction for £52 and it is a brand new sealed Power UK copy of Yakuza 2 so I think for £52 that is a, still a very good price because um, sometimes you can easily pay £80 for this you know for this game else, elsewhere on a typical day really and a lot of sellers are asking that for it and um, so £52, I'm quite happy to um, drop that on this, especially the new and sealed proper UK copy, and it's got a proper PlayStation 2 seal, it's not a, 
a reseal. So, yep, but very pleased to have that. All right, his next game is all Japanese exclusives and the shooters. So we have Esplag 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 Ludo. I probably mis I probably merged that mis uh, pronunciation. It is a, you know a top-down uh, bullet shooter by Eureka Games. I spoke Cave, and uh, anyone who knows shooters knows that Cave are renowned for making very good top-down bullet health shooter games. That was about um, thirty pound of eBay, and a lot of these games were the twenty to thirty pound mark price mark. Uh, we have a fighting game. Which, which has very good uh, animation style. Um, it is the Rumblefish. Okay, this game um, we've got the. Si um, let's, let's work this out. The. Uh, the second one of this game came out on the PS2 and the third one came out on the Wii and it only came out on the Wii in the States, I don't think we got it on the Wii in the UK but the first one you didn't even get it in the States, it's a, it's a Japanese exclusive so it's a, it's a Castle of Shigigami, the first one so again it's a um, top down shooter game and it's a Taito one so first Castle of Shigigami so I'm quite pleased to have that and um, last but not least, I have um, this Taito Cave Shooter. It's uh, again, it's a Bullet Hell one. Um, an HD version of this was released on Xbox 360, uh, but that's region locked, uh, so there's no point getting that from Japan. There's a sequel um, which you can get from Japan that's not region locked, so I'll probably get that sequel. But this is the first game. And it is Taito's um, uh, Mushi Mushi Emansima, something like that. It is basically it's like a, yeah, it's a bug a bug princess type um, premise, and it's a, you know it's a, another crazy top down Japanese shooter by by Taito. But this one's quite expensive. This was about thirty five pound, including shipping from eBay in Japan. Uh, so not a cheap game, but um, it's the only way I can play it in the UK without getting the Xbox 360 version, and that goes for that same money as well. And I would need to import a, a Japanese Xbox 360, which would be very expensive. So I'm not going to, I'm not going down that route unless I have to. So I'm quite happy to have a PS2 version of it, really. So that's it, guys. That is all my pickups. Um, quite an interesting mix as always, and quite a few, quite a. a <laughs> A range of games, um, including quite unusual imports and accessories. So as always, guys, like, uh, subscribe, um, leave any questions. I always all comments. Always love replying to comments. So until next time, take care and bye.